There was another mod I was thinking about. I don't know if it's still here. Yeah, I was thinking about getting Cum Launcher, too. Well, I'm gonna start uh, Calamity Mod today. Uh, I've never played Calamity Mod before. I know almost nothing about Calamity Mod. I have a starter bag. The Intended Calamity Experience. That sounds like what I want. I mean, the way that I see it is if there's anything important that the game needs me to know or find out, it will it should have an avenue for me to discover that myself. Am I only doing Calamity Mod? Uh, I'm not doing other mods. Oh, oh, no, 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 they can, no, 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 bad, bad B, bad B, bad B, bad B. Oh, oh Jesus, that is a thousand health? God damn. I'm gonna kill, that's why I'm going there. I think I'd find something and then not kill it. Have you seen me play Spore? No escape. Not the cubes, nothing escapes death. Nothing escapes Alan Supreme. I don't want to know anything, but I'll find out when I get there. Oh, no thanks. Oh, what is that? Hold on. It's a Shulk? No, 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 Shulk. Oh, oh, it's, it's angry, it's angry. Aww. I feel bad now. You got any guesses? As to what I'm building? A Mogus? No! No, it's the letter Q. It's a, it's an uppercase Q. I went to Home Depot earlier. Uh, because I'm buying stuff to, to make my, my Gecko's enclosure. It's so intimidating asking the Home Depot people for help. Because, like, I'm sitting there, I don't fully know what I want. So I can't just walk up to them and be like, hey, this is what I want. Like, I was looking for plants, so I was at the garden section, but I didn't know what plants I want. And there was a lady that was looking there, and she kept asking me, like, hey, do you know what you do you want? Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, so I'm just sitting there for, like, ten minutes, like, looking at all the different plants, and she keeps coming over and asking me if I want help, and I don't know if I want help. Alright, I'm pissed off. Fuck you, slime. Fuck you, bunny. Fuck you, butterfly. Alright, we're better now. Look, I didn't have a choice, okay? No, the game put me in rage mode. My rage meter filled up. I had to do it. That'll be sick. Uh, you know what? Let's see what happens. I got three defense. That's funny. These things. Okay, it's got 9,600 health. That's quite a lot. Oh, okay. No, there's a, there's a guy. Okay. Okay, new attack. Oh, okay. He deals a dog. Okay. That's not bad at all, though. That's a really easy fight, if it's just that. The starter bag, it's a calamity thing for curious that only go for single damage types such as ranged or summon. Then why did it give it? If it didn't want me to use the bag, it shouldn't have given me the bag. For sure. What? Excuse me, there was a child in that crocodile. This isn't the first boss. The first boss was the, the perforator dude. Summons the Aquatic Scourge when used in the Sulfurous Sea. Okay, that's a pre-hard mode boss. What? What does this mean? It's an item called King Slime that is not a material. It can't be placed. The fuck is this? It's just lore that trash talks King Slime? We got a best jury for that. Blunderbuss is super fun. Okay, now... And I'll be sure not to use the Blunderbuss. I think it's interesting that this thing doesn't have a death message. Oh, sorry, a spawning message. Yeah, it definitely gets some kind of defense or damage resistance. Ground is glittering with cyan light. No, it isn't. I can see the ground. It's right here. It's not glittering with cyan light. 
it's not early game? But why does it show up non-stop in an early game area? Though? By blood sloping worms. Hold on, I take issue with that. I don't think worms can slope. Because to slope, you need to be able to suck. Right? And I don't think worms have the, the mouth that enables them to suck. Summons the slime god. I could do that now. Oh no, 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 I lost my, my bone juice. I thought I had my bone juice. An arena above town? You think I care about these NPCs? Look, the fact that they live in a dangerous neighborhood is reflected in the fact that their rent is dirt cheap. Oh god, no, that's too many words. The baby one's half dead. Let's see if I can get this dead. I do wonder if this is just going to be like a phase one type deal, because this doesn't seem like a very difficult boss. Or if it's just intentionally uh, an easier boss. I mean, it is a slime type boss. Yeah, there was another phase. Oh, no, there's not. Never mind. Slime God. It is a travesty, one of the most threatening biological terrors ever created. I disagree. Like, all that you need to, to summon the perforator is just kill the thing that spawns in the crimson at the beginning of the game. As far as I'm concerned, that's the beginning of the game boss. And then Slime God also, you just summon, make the summoning item with really easy to obtain items. There's nothing about it that indicates it's meant to be fought later, except for the fact that it's just difficult. Yeah, I do, I do get the sense that this mod is very much so uh, one person's image of what they want the game to be. In the sense that a lot of the, the changes seem very petty. What is that? Shinobi Blade? Bombs were so slow at first. Another Shinobi Blade? God, what is the drop rate on this weapon? Did I know Cobalt Shield is a material? Really? You can craft things with the Cobalt Shield? Okay, seriously, like every single one of these casters has dropped a Shinobi Blade. What the hell is going on? And, what? Oh god, no, I hate this mod. No. 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 What's wrong? Do you see how slow the handgun's shooting? You're bad at knowing what's backseating. Oh, it's very simple. If it deals with anything in the game, anything at all, that I have not encountered, uh, it's either backseating or a spoiler. Oh, it's a C. See, Criddle knows what's up. Who sensed it? Who the fuck is watching me? Calamity? I didn't say they could- I didn't say that I wanted them to watch- I don't want anybody watching me. That's creepy. So no saying you should or no saying that you need to? No saying either. Don't- don't tell me- don't tell me what to do. I- I'm- I'm in the driver's seat. You guys are just restrained in- You're not passengers. You're prisoners. Right? This isn't- cruising down the highway with your friends, this is you sitting in the back of a police car in handcuffs. You have no power here. You understand? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, fuck off! What? If the game doesn't want me to do something, it'll stop me. Now I can make this. God, it's a worm! I'm not equipped to fight a worm. Give it a shot. Oh, he, he is very agile. God, I was really looking forward to a boss that wasn't a worm. Like something I could actually use my sniper rifle on. But is, is this the whole event? I just sit here and shoot frogs? Maybe it was supposed to be a final DPS rush like Wall of Flesh where you're not supposed to be able to dodge super well and you just need to get as fast as possible. I hate bosses like that. That's one of my least favorite designs uh, in a boss fight. I hate bosses that do that. Oh, he's not teleporting anymore. What the hell is he doing? Okay. 
it is very disappointing. Seeing items that I normally really like in vanilla, and then having them in calamity, and they're just like nerfed into the point of being really, really bad. But like things being good is fun. Well, no, I don't think it. The thing is, Skinner, it's not to make them vi viable. Like the things in the mod are viable. It seems more just like a, a petty. I don't like these items. I don't like that they're good, so I'm going to nerf them. Because, like, the things in the mod are good. They're really good. I, I don't I don't even think the vanilla items would be super viable anyway. Uh, the handgun. Like, they could have just kept the handgun as is. And then just made a new gun that had this slow way to fire pistol. Instead of taking the gun that's supposed to be really fast and satisfying to spam. And making it so you can't spam it. But we'll see. There's a lot of the game left. Uh, I'm hopeful that things will, uh... I'm hopeful that the game will prove me wrong. I don't know. Am I a femboy? I don't know how to answer that question. Like, Foxy had written this in the, in the Discord server the other day. About how I should, uh... Say that I'm going to... When I play the game on a dance pad, that I should do it in like a Catboy laid outfit or anything. And I think it's completely absurd uh, to assume that I wouldn't default to doing that in the first place. Like, I, I would need to announce that. I feel like that's just, you know, the, that was implied, and they added pretty much all of it. Let's see how this goes. Okay, thank you, Blaine, for confusion. Appreciate that. Okay. That wasn't that bad. Provides a small amount of light in the abyss, moderate, moderately reduces breath loss in the abyss. I don't know what the abyss is. But if I had to guess, based on the fact that it's water related, it's not there. I don't feel like that's the abyss, because that's not underwater and it's not dark. So why would I need light there? It's probably something underneath the ocean. My guess is that if I go underneath the ocean, there's going to be a biome down there that's like a deep sea thing. It doesn't look like there's a path leading down, unless there was... Oh, wait! Actually, there might be something down here. You seem to be a good game tester. It's, it's a pretty sure bet that if the game wants me to do something, I'm going to do the exact opposite of that. Provides a small amount of light in the abyss. I don't know about that one. Uh, um, you don't see me, do you? No, it's easy. It's easy. Oh, okay. Now it's happening. Very specifically, that depth. I start to take pressure damage. Oh! Oh! Is he stuck? He looks stuck. Oh, fuck no, he goes through walls. 
Why can the squid go through walls? That doesn't make any sense. Squids can't go through walls. Have you ever seen a squid in real life? Here we go. Oh no, I'm, I'm in a bad spot. What is he doing? What is what, what, what? The squid seems to have some difficulty going through the platform. What? Uh, he, he just teleported? Yeah, Moon Lord. Big squid. I hate this. Oh, they only drop a certain post hard mode buff. That's lame. That's lame as hell. Well, why even put them down there if they don't drop anything? Just don't have them there. Why, why put them there in the first place? If you're not going to give the player a reward for beating it. So what I want to know is what happens if I drain this into hell? Now don't tell me. I'll probably figure it out later, because I'm going to try that. <laughs> it works. Okay. How many times over? Let's go. Oh. I see. That's problematic. Can average damage? That's the word they chose? They chose average? It's, it's a worm boss. I don't know what I expected. Oh, I can mine this stuff now. Um. Excuse me? Giant clam? Okay. Okay. There was an NPC inside of the giant clam who sells the bow that I want. Okay. Okay. It's got piercing and it leaves a trail. That is nice. I like that. I like that. Um... No, no. Uh, you can't. No. Oh, I heard a pop break. I heard a pop break. If a pot broke, that means the surface is open. And that means. We're in. No, you... Bad one. Do I have... Oh, I don't have a flipper potion. That's what's going on. There's nothing here. There's a chest. There's a chest. Terminus, a ritualistic artifact thought to have brought upon the end many millennia ago. Sealed away in the abyss, far away from those who would seek to misuse it. Activates boss rush mode, using it again will deactivate boss rush mode. During the boss rush, all wires and wired devices will be disabled. I have to hold it. Okay. Okay. I see, but I have to deal with these things be <laughs> No! 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 Why is it balanced for endgame? Why is it balanced for endgame? Why does she have half a million health? I think it's interesting that the game lets me obtain that, uh, this early on. Now, sure, you could say that by putting it at the bottom of the abyss, where enemies that have, like, 200,000 hit points and two-shot me, uh very far down in an area where I take an extreme damage over time effect, 
to the point that it kills me in like a second uh is the game trying to you know not have me have the item this early i disagree a star has fallen from the heavens or whatever that kind of makes me feel like uh, like a like a meteorite type thing and if i go explore the world there'll be something to find what does this do ah it's a worm boss of course it's a worm boss I don't have an arena. I have no wings. Uh, so this is going to go terribly. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This, this was right here the whole time? The whole time? This music is going to make you insane. What's wrong with the music? I love this music. What's up? How old am I? Why? What? 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 Inter what? How? How is that the first question that you ask? Like you, you come into a stream and the first thing you ask is how old are you? Open the non-suspicious chest. Okay. Why'd you tell me to do that, Graham? It's not a womb. Yo! It's not a womb. Explain to me how Skeletron Prime is shooting this, okay? He doesn't have rocket launchers for eyes. I do wonder if the, the developer just really loves worm bosses, or if, like, they just ran out of ideas for bosses, and just like, I right, fuck it, make a worm. I mean, I guess they just played Terraria for the first time, and they saw the Destroyer, and they're like, damn, I'm into that. Just give me that. Just give me nothing but Destroyers. Uh, did Threat Nace start dashing? He is dashing. Interesting. What the hell? What is going on? What do you mean? Is he not supposed to do that? There's some weird physics going on. Yeah, Calamity seems to have some very interesting water. Oh, is this because I'm draining the abyss? This might be because I'm draining the abyss. This is probably because I'm draining the abyss. Why am I draining the abyss? To see what happens. I mean, the thing is, the mod, like, the mod has to take into consideration the fact that surely a player is going to want to drain the abyss. That's like the first thing that I thought of as soon as I saw this giant pool of water biome. So, I want to see how the mod handles me trying to do that. And if it doesn't, if the mod just breaks, then that's just... Uh, a design issue with the mod. It does try to stop you? No, it didn't. It certainly didn't try to stop me hard enough. Oh! I see. If you're not underwater in the abyss, you take a severe damage over time effect. Is that what's going on? That's annoying.
or a calamity sure does love dots. For what it's worth, the calamity dev is much better at designing worm bosses than any other boss. Because, or at least of the bosses we've seen so far. Because Aquatic Scourge and this boss have been way more fun than like the other Astral boss. The hell was that noise? He split in half? I remember. Oh, he's enraged, damn it. We didn't die. Why does it have a damage over time effect? Why does everything in this game have a dot? I think at this point there have been fewer enemies that don't have a damage over time effect. Uh, than ones that, uh, do. Okay, at least dead now. The icy caves are crackling with frigid and Who the fuck? What is with Calamity and dropping NPCs from bosses? Or random enemies? The mod devs added dozens of new accessories and decided to use none of them. Oh, is it daytime? It must be daytime. They're enraged. Yeah, uh, uh, that's not gonna be possible until I get better damage. But the titties, the mo big mommy milkers?